So while I was out today, I had to pop in at the grocery store and pick up a few items. And while I was there, I saw a few items that were on sale. And so I got them um, because I needed to add um, just a few more things, you know, to my grocery shopping for this week. And I haven't had these for a while, which I probably don't need them now. And I don't know when I'm going to use them, but... Um, there was one day last week when I wanted uh, a quick uh, pizza, and I was making a cauliflower uh, uh, pizza crust, and I got to thinking about how many calories that was, and how many carbs and everything, So I mean how many carbs it was mainly. So um, I saw the carb balance flour tortillas, and I got um, a package of those only because they're four gram net carbs and I figure I will use these when I want to um, have something like a quick keto pizza and I don't feel like actually making the crust um, a fat head dough or something like that so I have the mission carb balance uh, flour um, tortillas and I actually saw the ones that were made from wheat and they were three gram uh, net carbs here I have the whole shell roasted almonds and these are without the salt. Um, I try to get uh, a lot of things that I buy without um, added salt. Here I have my grass-fed uh, ground beef patties, 80% lean and 20% fat. Um, these are really good um, for making my sandwiches with. Um, I have my uh, natural Himalayan pink salt. You guys are good buy on that. I got that for a dollar. <laughs> I thought that was a really good buy. Uh, peppermint tea, and that's some tea that I can uh, drink, natural infusions. I have that. Here I have some um, mushrooms, sliced mushrooms, and I have been cooking a lot with mushrooms, and that's something that I'm gonna continue to do because I use it for my gravies, I use it for butter sauce and different things, and I like to cook it with my meats. Here is some lamb that I had saw at the grocery store, and they had that on sale. Um, so I got me a package of this, and I'm getting ready to put this in the freezer. And I love bacon. And whenever I see it on sale, I usually try to get it. And this was buy one, get one free. So it was it came out to be two for five dollars. So I bought four packs of this and this is going to go into my uh, freezer in the refrigerator just so I can have some meats um, for breakfast um, whenever I want bacon I'll have me some bacon there and then also there was some Jimmy Dean uh, sausage that was on sale also so I got a package of that um, and then also the aloe vera plant I love to use aloe vera in different things you guys all right, everyone, uh, I'm going to have to get out of the habit of seeing you guys, but I use aloe vera on my hair, I use aloe vera on my skin, and there are so many things that you can use aloe vera for. If you follow me on my Facebook group, um, you'll see a post that I have there about the many, many uses of aloe vera. So I was glad to see some today at the store. I had been trying to get aloe vera, and they didn't have it in. They haven't had it in for a few months. So I was glad to see that they had some today. Here's my avocado. And I'm going to put that over there. There's my avocado. And I needed a printer cartridge. So I got a printer cartridge for my um, printer. So I can get some uh, things done in my office area. But... That is just about everything that I picked up at my quick little uh, grocery haul. Um, so that is just about everything that I picked up when I went out um, earlier for my little grocery haul. And that was just some things that I needed to pick up just to add in, just to have here at home. Oh, and my asparagus. As you can see, I have that washed. This here little lemon, <laughs> this lemon is for my um, for my sink. I keep a lemon over there for my sink. But this is my asparagus. And 
I'm gonna rinse that off really, really good. I had rinsed it so it's why it's sitting over in the cup. But I'm going to uh, be cooking that. I'm gonna probably cook that on my grill. I like to have some grill for the asparagus. So here is my grocery haul. Quick and short. Okay, so I'm making a keto lemon meringue pie. Then here, here I've added in four eggs, two egg yolks, and my sweetener of choice. And I'm going to whisk this until it whisks together really, really good. And I'm going to leave it sitting here in the pan while I squeeze my lemons. And I'm going to squeeze four lemons. I've already started. And I just have a regular squeezer here. And I'm going to add my lemons and everything else to that mixture. And it actually looks like I have enough lemon juice. I don't want to make it too tart. So I'm going to go ahead and add my lemon juice, my butter, and to my mixture here. As I said, in this pan, I have already combined four large eggs, two large egg yolks, and three quarter cup granulated sweetener of choice. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the sweetener. I forgot to double up. I doubled up on everything else. I've got so to I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my melted butter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it all in at one time. Um, you wanna whisk that together really, really good. And also I'm going to add in my lemon juice and you can add your lemon juice either all in at one time or me i'm going to add it in a little bit at a time and then whisk it in and then add some more and that's how i'm going to add in my lemon juice so i'm going to go ahead and add in my lemon juice now Okay, and here is my pie crust that I made. And I made this out of almond flour, coconut flour, um, some uh, butter, a little bit of vanilla flavoring. And I didn't put a pinch of salt. That's what I should have put also. But I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to take it out. This is the pie crust after it's cooked in the oven and I let it get a golden brown and you can see where I poked it with the fork because the pie crust has a tendency to puff up. So if you make a keto pie crust remember that. Remember you want to poke it with your fork so you can make sure that it doesn't rise up as it's cooking. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stir my curd just a little bit more I want to make sure that it's cooking really good and that it doesn't get lumpy so that's why I'm going to continue to stir it
So as we can see, the curd has gotten really, really thick, my lemon curd. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of the stove and go ahead and let this cool. And so I'm getting ready to make my meringue topping. And in the bowl here, I have uh, two large egg whites. And to this, I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar-free powdered sugar and sugar powdered sugar that I'm using is the Swerve and I'm also going to be adding a quarter teaspoon cream of tartar to this and after I mix this up a little bit I'm going to go ahead and beat this with my blender and I'm going to beat it until it starts to form stiff white peaks and once it does that then I'm going to go ahead and add it to the top of the pie and start putting the pie together. So I am taking my lemon curd and I put it inside of my pie shell and looks like I have just enough to fill up this pie shell like I want to and I'm going to make sure that it covers the whole pie shell from side to side to the top of this I'm adding my meringue and I am going to make sure that it seals the top of the pie and when I say seals I seal it I mean that I want to make sure that the meringue touches the pie crust and that way uh, it seals the filling so I'm gonna pop this in the oven after I get it on top of the pie really really good and I'm gonna let it brown um, and then the pie is done mmm I cannot wait to take a bite of this keto lemon meringue pie I have never made one before this is my first time this is my first time making the lemon curd are putting it together and making a lemon keto lemon meringue pie so I'm excited because this is going to give something new um, for me to add to my keto meals If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment.